EPA took a hands-off approach in two ways. First, it said, despite the very plain language of the law, we have no authority. And secondly, even if we had authority, we wouldn't do it for a variety of political reasons. And what the Supreme Court today said is, the language is clear, you have this authority, and no, you can't shirk your responsibility by playing politics. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. It's a legal question of whether or not the federal government has the legal authority to regulate greenhouse gases as a pollutant. And the prior administration said that they thought they had that legal authority, but they did not take action. Uh, we questioned whether we did have the legal authority. Now the Supreme Court has settled that matter for us, and we're going to have to take a look at and analyze it and see where we go from there. And also, she said she thinks it's a uh, good idea to establish facts. My point was that we do regulate emissions coming out of the tailpipe. We do it through Department of Transportation's CAFE program. And the way to get uh, cars to be more efficient is to burn less gas and to go more miles. And that's what we've been working to do. But we've done that in a way to make sure that uh, the safety of passengers is taken into account. Because the, the lighter you make the car, the more possibly more dangerous it can be for passengers who could get in an accident. We have no credibility with any other country on earth because we've refused to do anything about it. But once we start down the path of comprehensive legislation and truly addressing our own greenhouse gas emissions, we can sit down at the table with the rest of the world and try to figure out the solution for the whole planet.